everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope everybody's having a good day today. This is my little uh, St. Patrick's Day gnome that I made on my knitting machine. I do have a pattern for it on my channel. If you have a circular knitting machine, he's totally easy to make and he's super cute. And he has like a little, um, well, wrong side. He has one of those little uh, lucky four leaf clover coins in his cap. So I thought he was super cute, and I just hope everybody's having a good St. Patrick's Day today. And uh, thank you all for being here. If you um, are watching the replay, thank you as well. I'm going to kind of go through and say hello to everyone in the chat, and then uh, we'll get on to business. I've got some great patterns to show you guys. I've got um, their craft show uh, kind of like patterns or quick and easy patterns that you could just whip up and have as gifts or just to practice crochet. So let me just go ahead and say hello to Drini. Purple Crochet and More with Drini is here. She says, hi all. Hi, Sandrine. How are you? Thank you for stopping by and being here. Cammie says, Square Raid. Hi, Cammie. How are you? Good to see you. And Sierra says, Square Raid, pulling up a few minutes early. Ha ha. Thank you for being here, Sierra. It's good to see you. Hi, Christine. She says, hi, Laura and chat. This newbie is especially excited for today's patterns as I gravitate toward quick and easy. Well, you will like what I picked out today, Christine, because um, I have 40 really quick and easy cute patterns that you could make for gifts or use for craft shows and stuff like that. And um, there are a wide variety of patterns and a majority of them are free. I think pretty much the majority of them are free. And I will be giving away a pattern. So stick around. And Sierra says, always excited to see what Laura's found today. Thank you. And um, Sierra says, hello to Christine. Christine in the house and here for all the quick and easy patterns. Thank you so much for all your support, Christine. And uh, Sierra says, he's so cute. I love him, Laura. Thank you. Sheila's here. Hello, Sheila. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Sierra says, don't leave your thumb in the dark for our lovely host friends. Thank you so much, Sierra. And you got to check out Sierra's channel. Um, she has just started a brand new YouTube channel. So if you haven't um, already gone to her channel, make sure you go check it out because she has a lot of content planned and she's got a couple of little videos on there already. And she's really fun to watch. And Cammie says, hey, Christine, long time no see, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, like five seconds ago <laughs> at Ursula's. We were all over at Ursula's having fun. Everyone's saying hello. Hello, Sonia. I love crochet. How are you? It's good to see you. And Sierra saying square raid. Hi, Sierra. Sheila says, hi, Sierra, Sandrine, and Cammie. And uh, let's see here. Hello, Square Rates says Little Treasures by Nancy. Thank you for coming in, Nancy. I've got some great patterns to show you guys. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, Sunita. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping in. And let's see here. Nisi's your Square Rate. I'm in the ads. Thank you so much, Nisi. I appreciate that. Hey, every time you guys can watch someone's ads, that really helps. It really does add up. And uh, she's saying hello to everyone. Hi, Ursula. How are you? Square Raid. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. I was watching you all day and listening and lurking and jumping in when I could. Um, everyone's saying hello. Thank you for the thumbs. Katrina's Crochet World and more. Um, she says, hello, Laura Crojo Corner, and hello to each and every one of you in the chat. Hope all is well and love to all. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, Katrina and uh, Ursula from OM Granny Square and Nisi from Freehandly Made, make sure you go check out their channels. And then we've got... Um, Sierra says, hello, um, OM Granny Square. Sorry, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> Dawn Aaron Loving Hands Creation says, hi, sweet Laura. Hi, Dawn. How are you? It's good to see you. Dawn makes really great um, little clay gnomes and all kinds of cute things. Make sure you check out her channel as well. Make sure you check out Drini's channel. She likes to go live and uh, chat. It's a nice, fun uh, way to relax and just listen to yarn chat. And uh, Ursula's saying hello to everyone. I've got some great patterns to show you guys. I'm just giving it just a couple seconds here just to sell, say hello and greet everybody. And then I'm going to share some really quick and easy crochet patterns um, that are suitable for craft show items or for just quick gifts and things just to whip up. Things to maybe keep around in a basket in case you have to come up with a quick gift, maybe teacher's gifts. So just stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to be giving some away. <clears throat> and um. Let's see here. Let me, Jay says, hello, everyone. Hello, Jay. It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. And if you'd like to drop your link, just please drop uh, the word Crojo Corner, all one word, type it in the chat, and Nightbot will drop your link. 
Okay, I'm in now. Hi, Crojo. Hi, Nisi. It's good to see you. And Unique Amazing Stripe says, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm Granny Square Raid. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, Unique. And let's see here. Sierra says, going to be recording on Monday. Super excited to show you guys all my hooks and things and finished objects. Awesome. Renee says, hello, everyone. Hi, Natural Nene 61 It's good to see you. I really appreciate you guys all being here. It means a lot to me. Yarn Arm Sheila says, hi, Katrina. Happy anniversary to you and hubby. Oh, happy anniversary, Katrina. Did I miss that? Or did she just know that? Happy anniversary to you. How long has it been? How many, how many years? And Lori says, hi, Laura. Hi, Lori. How are you? It's good to see you. And Sierra's greeting everyone coming in. Christine Johnstone says, hey, everyone. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. And uh, Katrina says, thank you, Yarn Arm Sheila. Thank you to all the thummies. Yes, thank you so much. If you uh, left your thumbprint, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Hello, hello, everyone, and have a great Friday, says Candy's Yarn Crafts. Hello, Candy. How are you? It's good to be here. <laughs> good to be here. Good to see you here. <laughs> I'm going too fast. My brain is not working as fast as my mouth. Uh, Cindy from Lulu's Treasure Trove says, Hi, Crojo Corner. So nice to be here today. So nice to have you here, Lulu. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate that. And we have some really good patterns. I'm going to show you here in just a second. I'm almost caught up in chat. And let's see. Lulu says, Happy anniversary, Katrina. And Nisi says, Happy anniversary, Katrina. That's awesome anniversaries are great this year would be my 23rd anniversary we got married in 2000 and i was number 20 uh i was thumbs number 21 today laura Woohoo! you better go play play some blackjack today maybe you got some luck and uh joy says good afternoon all hi joy thank you for being here it's good to see you and judy says hi laura hi judy it's good to see you and lulu says hi joy and Lulu says, hi, Nisi. So happy to see you today. And Lulu say, or Cindy saying hi to Judy. And I wanted to show everybody my sweet little uh, St. Patrick's Day gnome. And um, I did make a cute little super chat for St. Patrick's Day, a little super chat video. So as soon as I get a super chat or if I get one, I will show the video. It's really super cute with some leprechauns and stuff. And Tina Camper 14 says, hi, Laura and everyone. Hello, Tina. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. And Cindy says, I never thought of that one. Haha, ha, Crojo Corner about the blackjack. How funny. <laughs> And uh, Judy says, hi, Cindy. And Tina says, he's adorable. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to pause looking at the chat for right now, and I'm going to bring in uh, my Ravelry because I've already been blabbing for 10 minutes. Asia Joe's here. She says, hey, everyone, happy Friday. Just listening right now while in the kitchen. You have fun listening and enjoy yourself. Thank you for being here. You are so supportive and sweet. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, pull up my, my screen. I've put together some quick and easy crochet patterns that are really fun, all different types. Um, let's check this out. I've got four to show you guys. So let's see here. Now, Cammie, this one's really cute. This is the Raspberry Pocket Pal, and this is a little amigurumi. And, you know, I felt so bad for Cammie because he won the giveaway on Tuesday. He won the little uh, bunny with eggs and everything. And so when I went to go send it to him as a gift, it said that the user would not accept the payment. And I was like, what? And then I tried it on my other account. And, like, they had their payments turned off. So I had to go find some other patterns for him to choose from. But I felt bad because that one was so cute that I um, had picked up before. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I don't even know why I brought it up. But Raspberry Pocket Pal by Laura Sutcliffe. And let's see. This is using a 4 millimeter hook. And it's only $2.53. It's so cute. Look at that. I think Cammie's little niece, Emma, would like this, don't you? And it's like a little, just like a little berry. And then the top has a baby connected to it. And then the baby comes off. And it's like a little doll. Isn't it just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it so much. So this is something you can whip up. This just looks like a bunch of bobble stitches. And it's a tiny little doll. So this would be really a cute hit. And it would be a nice little gift for a child. And especially because you're just em embroidering on eyes, it looks like. You know, so there's no choking hazards or anything like that. I just think that's so cute. <clears throat> And then here we go. This is very nice for moms that make lunches for kids, you know, um, 
a lot of moms use these bento boxes. They're like um, little like rubber, like Tupperware containers. Let's see. I think they have a picture of them here. See, and they all fit together and they all stack. So this is a bag to fit all of these. And a lot of people, they take these to work, you know, in their um, tote bag and stuff like that for work. Um, so here are some different bags for that. Super cute. Let's she put a little patch on there. That's a horrible picture. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. You know, if you don't want to just go with the girly theme. And then here's like a little um, octopus that they crocheted and sewed on there with a little underwater theme. So I thought that was really cute. And this is using, this is using Lily Sugar and Cream Solids, worsted weight, and it says 6.5 millimeter and a 4.0 millimeter, 420 yards. And it is, um, this is a free pattern. So um, this is by Nancy Anderson, and it's called the Happy Bento Lunch Caddy. I really thought that was super cute. I mean, I remember uh, when my daughter was in school, she um, she had a lot of friends that used those bento boxes. No, I didn't. I didn't have the money to pay for those. So, all righty, let's see here. I'm gonna go back to chat for just a second. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cindy. Cindy gave me a super chat. She wants to see the leprechauns. Yay. Okay, here we go. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and thank you, Cindy. Yay. Thank you so much, Cindy. I appreciate that. Cammy says, LOA, I, I found, wait, I finally decided on a pattern for an Afghan. I'm doing the houndstooth pattern. Oh, actually, I'm doing um a houndstooth too. No, I take that back. It's a herringbone. Never mind. It's not a houndstooth. That's exciting, Cammy. Sometimes it's hard to decide what you're going to make when you're going to do a big project like that. And Nisi's saying hi to Tina and Cammy. And um, here is your first super chat for today, Crojo Corner. Thank you so much, Cindy. I really do appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Everyone's saying hello. And Sherry says, hey, Laura and everyone in the chat. Hi, Sherry. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. And let's see. I'm just going to skip over the hellos real quick because I do have a lot to um, show you guys. Hi, Divergent. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. And let's see. Uh, crochet and knitting uh, addiction with Sherry says, hi, Cindy, I'm doing good. How are you and Ozzy doing? All that berry is so adorable. We are going under a freeze warning. If you can believe that one, says Cindy. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're warming up where I live. I live in Northwest Indiana and it's supposed to go, well, I think it's supposed to be kind of cold tomorrow, but Saturday it's supposed to be like 40, I think. And today it's only 32. The raspberry amigurumi is extremely cute, says Cammy. I know. Sherry, we are doing good today, trying to stay warm. Little bit Elias says, hi, friend. Hello. Thank you for coming in, little bit. It's good to see you. And Nisi says, hi again, Cindy. Did you want to come up on my live tomorrow to share about your channel? Email me if you do, and I'll send you a link. Aw. Cammy says, Laura, I love the pattern I got from you on Tuesday. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad that you like it. I was I was upset that you couldn't get the one that you wanted. That really irritated me. <laughs> and a little bit says, that's a cute doll. I agree. And I'm just going to kind of skip through here so we can get back to the uh, patterns. Make sure that I'm not missing anything. And uh, Sheila says, happy St. Patrick's Day from Leprechaun Land. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Sheila. Woo! Ooh, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's good to see you. Nancy says, hello, Cindy. Uh, standing a shelf right now in my craft area. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Angela. How are you? Thank you for being here. Mima's Crochet and Other Arts. Angela Fair and Bert. And let's see. Unique Amazing saying hi to Divergent. Let me just get through this real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Mm. Ooh, that caddy is gorgeous. Oh, I know, right? Let's see here. Just raining all the time here in Mississippi. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to get through here. And Tina's saying hello to everybody. Okay, I'm caught up. Let's get back to the patterns here because that's what's important. So let's see. Then we've got the wallet, iPod, cell phone, iPhone case. 
This is from 2013. That's why it says iPod on it. But it is a $5 pattern, and it's a nice little pouch, nice little wallet to keep in your purse. Looks pretty easy. It's using worsted weight and a 5 millimeter hook. And this is a $5 pattern, and I thought these would be great for a craft show. You know, these would be awesome. You could, you know, display them with something in there and, you know, show them how they could utilize it. Be even like a cute little... <clears throat> excuse me, nice little lipstick pouch, put your lip balm, your hand sanitizer in there. This is called the Rainbow Sleeve. This is um, for your iPad. And this is a free pattern. Isn't it beautiful? I just love that. It's so gorgeous. I love the bobbles. I could just bobble all day. It just takes forever, but I just love the, the way it looks. And the bobbles will help protect it because it's squishy. You know what I mean? It's thicker. So I thought that was gorgeous. And that is by Kirsten Ballerin using Sheep, Sheep, Sheep Just Bloom worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. Whoa. And then here's another um, iPad case. And this is, this is free. And this is using Red Heart Super Saver Solids and a five millimeter or 5.5 millimeter hook. Isn't that cute? And they've got like a little um, doily on the front or mandala, whatever you want to call it. So this is a free pattern. That's pretty nice. You know, change it up to your color scheme. By Nadia Fod, I believe is how you pronounce it. And then we've got this. I thought this was really cool. This is the waterfront napkin ring, and this is a free pattern. Look at how cool this is. Now, this is just a basic napkin ring. But then they crocheted this neat little, I don't know, fringe hanging off of it. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. That would be su such a nice party favor, you know? And this is by Ariana Hall. And this is a free pattern using Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend in a DK weight. And just think you can make them in whatever color you want. Let me just come back to chat and make sure I'm not missing anybody. Everyone's saying hello. Did I say hi to you, Joy? I hope I did. I think I did. If I didn't, hello, Joy. It's good to see you. It's hard to remember everybody I said hi to. Everyone's saying hi. And let's see here. Cindy says, I believe it is about the rain. It seems like it's about to rain. It seems like it will not stop here in Arkansas. Happy the sun is out today. Hubby and sun outside raking and burning leaves again today. Oh, that's nice. And let's see here. Cammie says, never would have thought the pink and green would look so cute. Oh, yeah, I love pink and green together. I used to use that a lot, like in the early 2000s. I used to be a big uh, Stampin' Up, you know, rubber stamp uh, lady. And um, like, what do you call it, demonstrator. And we always used to combine pink and um, pink and green. And we always combined pink and brown back then. And um, let's see here. Hi, Bonnie Got Knits and more. How you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, let's see. Becky D says, hi, all just got here working and lurking. Everyone's saying hello. Debbie Wheeler says, hello, all happy to be here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you too, Debbie. Good to see you. Boop, boop. Here's my little leprechaun guy. We got him hanging out here. I made him. And the macrame looks like macrame, small macrame. Beautiful. That's what I, it reminded me of that too. That's what I was thinking. And everyone's saying hello. Thank you so much, Bonnie. I appreciate your super chat, your super chat, my friend. And this is for you. Thank you, Bonnie. Woo! Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, let's see. Everyone's saying hello. I'm just going to kind of go through the hellos so that we could get to um, the patterns. Divergent Crafter says, seems like the electronic sleeves would do better in cotton since it breathes in case they turn on to prevent overheating. That is a valid point. That is a very, very good point. I love that he matches your shirt, Laura, LOL. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not intentional, but hey, it works, right? No one's going to pinch me today. I'm not going to get pinched. Well, I might later when my husband gets home. <laughs> okay, let's see. Bonnie's uh, throwing out some lucky shamrocks. 
All right. So let's go back to my Ravelry. And that is by Ariana Hall. And this is a free pattern called the Waterfront Napkin Ring. And this is so cool. Never thought about this. Crochet hair curlers. What? Never thought about this. Only $1.75. And that's a pretty cool thing to do. You know, you could whip up some of these and put them in a cute little uh, like mesh bag or something. That would be perfect for a craft show or for a gift for somebody, you know, that wants to do, I don't know, or for yourself. But see how they attach? Just like the regular old fashioned sponge ones we used to use. But you can make them as fat as you'd like. And you make them in cotton. What a cool idea. Never would have thought about that. I'm a licensed hairstylist, and I would have never thought about that. I did hair for over 20 years in the salon. Never have I even thought about doing that with these, but that's a really cool idea. We used to have like the, the rubbery ones that you would heat up, and then you would wrap the hair around it. But those, I know you have it on like wet hair, damp hair. But that is, um, let's see, about $1.75, and it's using a DK weight yarn and a 5 millimeter hook. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we've got this crochet hair tie. I'm sure some of you have made some hair ties before. This is $2. These are pretty cute. This would be great for a craft show. It would also be great for a little girl. Look at how cute that is. You know, I wouldn't mind wearing it, but I don't wear my hair up really. But I like that. I like that one a lot. That one looks good. And let's see here. That's a $2 pattern. And it's using thread, they said. That doesn't look like thread to me. That looks like four-weight four yarn. And um, let's see here. This is cute. This is also a free pattern. Flower Fairy Vines. These are very pretty. And I think when I look at this, I think of the Renaissance Fair, you know, like we like to um, go to the Renaissance Fair. Sometimes we don't dress up like in those costumes, but we do like to dress up a little bit, you know, and um, that would look really pretty. Like we put on like little flowy dresses and like little flower hair things, but that's about it. But this would be cool to put in your hair for that. Or for a little girl's birthday party. It's by Clara Olivia Golden. And it's um, it says it's using thread and a 2.1 millimeter hook. 2.1. Okay, so I thought that was cool. And then this is so cute. For those of you in the U.S., this is for Aldi, um, Aldi uh, what do you call it, shopping carts. The keychain quarter holder. This is using worsted weight yarn and a 2.75 or 3.25 millimeter hook. And it's available for free, this pattern. Isn't that so cute? That way you always have a quarter on hand when you go to Aldi. I just thought that was the cutest little thing. I have like their own little keychain on my um on my keychain, but um this is so cute and this will be a great craft show item. You could just have them up there in a little basket or hanging up somehow. I thought that would be cute. You could charge, you know, 2 bucks a piece for them, you know. You can make a lot of money. It would probably take like I don't know, what, 15 minutes to make? I don't know, maybe uh, charge $3 a piece, you know? $3 a piece, two for five you could charge, okay? So I thought this was nice, too. This is a $5 pattern. This is an X-stitch pouch using um, worsted weight and a five-millimeter hook. I thought that was great for uh, the breast cancer awareness, but now you don't have to put the um, I-cord heart on there. But look how they did the... Um, like the heartbeat in the cord with the heart. I thought that was really pretty. And here's a more neutral gray. And then here's one with um, like a fringy, fringed out kind of heart with a big tassel on it. And then here's a purple one. That's pretty. And they're just inserting a, um, a fabric pouch inside of there. That's really cute. Love that. And that is a $5 pattern. And then we've got Not Your Granny's Stash Pouch. I liked this a lot. <laughs> I thought this was really cool. And it's uh, using uh, Lily Sugar and Cream Solids or Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And these are some cool pouches that you could use for crystals or any little objects that you wanted. Jewelry pouches, if you will. Um... 
not really sure what else you want to put in there. You could put, you know, larger buttons, any little things that, you know, you wanted to. But these are good for crystals. I like to collect crystals. I have crystals all over one of my shelves in my living room. I have them all over the house. So I really love these pouches. I think they're beautiful. And um, they're made out of little granny squares. Let me get back to my chat real quick here. And everyone's saying hello. And if you haven't hit the thumbs yet, I would really appreciate it if you did. Everyone's saying hello. Never that about crochet hair curlers. I have a new one on my list. Oh, I know. Isn't that a cool idea, Crystal? I love that. Great for reenactors. Oh, I know. I love that, too, with the little uh, vines. Everyone's saying hello. I think my daughter would like those rollers. Oh, I know. I think they're great. Mine, too, Becky, wouldn't break hair. My mom would roll my hair with rags for pipe curls. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. That's a great, that is a great thing to do. And um, it, it's uh, probably more comfortable than laying on rollers, you know, because I remember when people used to use rollers. Uh, Sheila says, mine too, with my sister, Bonnie. We called her Nellie Olson from Little House on the Prairie. That's so funny. But hey, it works. Divergent says, Bonnie, you made me think I could crochet a few long tunes and it would work too. Oh, oh yeah, tubes. Uh-huh. Everyone's saying hello. I have a Renaissance dress that was made for me. Ooh, that's awesome. That is really awesome. Tubes, not tunes. I figured you out. <laughs> Unique says, also for laundromat or meters. Oh, yeah. Yes, and please hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. And Sarah says, had to hurry up and throw my poncho on because it has green in it before my partner gets home. I don't want to get pinched, LOL. <laughs> so many great projects today for Craft Fair Booth. Laura, can you tell me your search parameters for this so I can find these later? Um, well, you can. I just, I didn't search for craft stuff. I just thought of different things. Um, my daughter and I sat up to like one in the morning thinking of different little things that we could look up that would be easy projects. So I didn't really search for anything in specific. My daughter and I just came up with ideas and then I looked for those specific ideas. So I really don't have a specific a search parameter. You can always go back and rewatch the video or just keep like a little notepad next to you and write down the name of the pattern and the designer. Then you could just put that into the search if you like one of the patterns that I'm showing. Uh, Lulu says, I see lots of variations when it comes to the pouches with material inside and zipper closure. Cute. I was thinking about making some of those too. I just need some zippers. Yes. Well, they were, um, some of those pouches, they just used a pouch that already had a zipper on it and they just stuck it inside the crochet part. They just crocheted something that fit around the pouch and then sewed it around there. Um, Butterfly Dreams Genie has a uh, video on how to do something like that with a little tote bag. I was going to do one and then I never got around to it. Um, they are so cute. The pouches, says Sheila. I thought so too. And um, let's see here. Everyone's saying hello. Jay says, you could always line the little bags too as a coin bag. Yes, that would be a great idea for a coin bag. That's so funny. I'm literally watching Little House on the Prairie now, says Nisi. Oh my gosh, that is ironic. Divergent says, for those who are thinking about making the items with zippers, Wawak, W-A-W-A-K, an online store carries zipper tape you can cut to the size. Oh, wow. That's cool. Thank you for sharing. Unique Amazing Stripe says, I know there are, are ways to save fa with favorites and tag them to share. Oh, yes. You can save them to favorites. Um, tag them to share. I might, I'll have to look into that, but um, you can always just keep a notepad next to you and write down the name of the uh, pattern and the designer, and you should be able to find it. Uh, Cindy says, I'm lurking for now, but leaving you play. Thank you so much, Cindy. I appreciate that. And Sheila says, remember in the 70s, you'd wear the pouches around your neck? Yes, I do remember that. Okay, let's go back to our patterns. Now I'm caught up in chat. And um, I have a lot of patterns to show you guys. So these are great for a craft show. These are shark mermaid popsicle holders. This is a $2 pattern using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. Isn't that so cute? I love these. Really super cute. And this is by Jessica Cooper. And this is a $2 pattern using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. And then I like the way they displayed these. Sweet Serenity Popsicle Pal. Look at how she... um. 
This is a $4 pattern. Look at how she um, displayed these. Now that's really nice. That's really eye-catching if you have a craft show booth. Um, I like the way that she put the tags on these popsicle holders, even though they would probably get messed up. Um, I have that yarn, that very first yarn here. I have that. That's what I made my little um, first cup cozies out of. This is Hobby Lobby. I love that yarn. I, I love that cotton, I believe. Um, and then she made these cute little tags to go over the top, and it says what it is. And these are super cute. I love that. Okay, and this is by Mrs. B's Custom Crochet, and it's called the Sweet Serenity Popsicle Pal, and it's a $4 pattern. And then I thought this was adorable. This is a strawberry pocket tissue holder. Now, this would be super cute. This is a free pattern, and this would be really nice for a craft show as well, or just like a little gift. Like, say if somebody had a cold, okay? You could get like a little, um, like a little basket. You could put, you know, some, you know, lip balm you could put a little tissue thing in him in there and you know you just like a crocheted little basket you know you, everything in it could have some crochet to you know things to do with it and you could put this little crochet tissue holder or you could carry it in your purse or you could give it to your grandma or you could give it to your, your kid's teacher it's super cute i mean what i never would have thought about doing that i love it so cute for your purse I love that so much. And that is by Kat Venner, and it's called the Strawberry Pocket Tissue Holder. But I always think that you could put it like in a basket and you could give them some like instant soups, you know, maybe some ramen or something like that, but you know, or a couple cans of soup, chicken noodle soup, you know, put it all in a cute bowl. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, let's see here. This is a very cute idea for us uh crocheters and crafters. Now this is a $15 pattern, which that's a lot, but this is pretty cool. This is a tissue caddy. And then they crocheted little pouches to go around it to put all of your crochet hooks. And look how they have their little uh, safety pins. They have a calculator. I thought that was super cute. That was a neat idea. And this is by Teresa Jones. I don't know if this would so much be for... Um, a craft show, but this is a easy pattern to do. But I think it would take too long for it to be worthwhile to sell at a craft show. Um, this is so cute too. This is a snot owl, snot penguin, they call it. And this is a free pattern for, it's a little tissue holder using fingering weight and a 2.5 millimeter hook. Isn't this so cute? This is a little tissue, pocket tissue holder. And this is, the tissue comes out of the back here. And then they have a little penguin one, too. Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I just love that. And that is by Fru Madsen's. So cute. I mean, I love that. And this is a free pattern. So this is called the Snot Owl or the Snot Penguin. I think the name is very... Um, rem very memorable. <laughs> and this is also a free pattern. This is great for craft shows, great for gifts. Mini Meadow Washcloth Set. This is so pretty using Lily Sugar and Cream Solids and Denim, it says. Worsted weight, 5 millimeter and 6 millimeter hook. You need about 345 yards. Super cute. Look at that. Love the little basket. Love the little floral uh, face scrubbies. The little washcloths. Isn't that so adorable? I just thought you guys would like that. And let's, that is by Brenda K.B. Anderson. And it's the Mini Meadow, Meadow Washcloth Set. And it says that, let's see, the basket measures five and a half inches in diameter. So that's a nice size basket. And make sure you guys stick around because I will be giving away a pattern um, at the end of my live today. So make sure you stick around because I have um, some nice choices for you to choose from for today's patterns. And this is called the Honeycomb Hand Towel and Washcloth Set. And this is using worsted weight and a six and a half millimeter hook. And this is a hand towel and a washcloth. So pretty, isn't this so pretty? I love that stitch. I've never done this stitch before. Have you? Has anyone in the chat done this stitch before? So pretty. 
I need to make some of these. I really like that. I like how they have like the line going across, like how they do on the purchase towels. So that is by Mary Honorati. Pardon my mispronunciation. And this is a 350 pattern using a uh, cotton yarn and worsted, that's worsted weight cotton and a six and a half millimeter hook. I like that a lot. And let's see here. This is nice too. I really like this. This is the ombre dish drying mat or place mat. It's five bucks. Isn't that pretty? And you could do it all solid. You could do it however you want to just change your colors or whatever. But that looks like a nice, thick, absorbent stitch. I really need to make that. I have some cheap ones I got from the Dollar Tree, but they're not very big. I need bigger. Because I always end up having, you know, I have a dishwasher, but you can't like put all your pots and pans in the dishwasher because it takes up too much room. Then you got to run the dishwasher. Um, let's see. Ombre dish drying mat or placement by Mellow Wood Designs. And that is a $5 pattern using yarn held together um in an eight millimeter hook and this is the lily sugar and cream that they used let me just go back to my uh chat here real quick and make sure i'm not missing anybody let's see here we never miss an episode as kids says sheila oh and um little house on the prairie my mom still watches that she watches the uh the marathons every Sunday. I think there's like a five hour marathon. My mom watches that. I love that. Uh, Charles Ingalls was so cute. Uh, Bonnie says, I used heavier cardstock to, to use marker and draw disposable coffee cups and put inside cup cozies for displays. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Sierra says, love the little get well basket idea. Adding crochet to that makes it extra special. Oh, thanks, Sierra. And Sabrina Aguilera says, hi, Laura and friends. Hi, uh, Sabrina. Thank you so much for being here. It's been so long. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope all is well. I was able to hop on for a bit today. It's been so long. Hubby doing better. I sent you a PayPal, Laura. Thank you so much, Sabrina. I really appreciate that. This is for you, my friend, and I'm glad your hubby is doing better. And it's really good to see you. This is for you, my friend. Thank you so much, Sierra, uh, Sabrina. I really appreciate that. Do, do, do. And so does Mr. Leprechaun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sabrina. Um, she says, I love seeing all these patterns, Laura. Thank you so much, Sabrina. And uh, Sierra says, instead of tissues, open up that top a little, and it would work great for center pulling a cake and keeping everything with the cake. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Happy St. Patrick's Day, says Sabrina. And Sierra says, happy St. Patrick's Day. And let's see here. Everyone saying hello to Sabrina. And let's see here. Nisi says, has anyone worked with the Hirschner Supreme Worsted Weight Yarn before? I have not. Um, Crystal says, I need a drying mat the size of my counter. Always wind up with water creeping down. Me too. Me too. Oh, how cute is that Patch St. Patrick's Day video? <laughs> Thank you. I just made that. Um, I made that last week, and I was thinking that last Friday was going to be um, St. Patrick's Day, and then I realized I had the dates wrong, so I just had to hold on to it for a week. Cammie says, why spend thousands on a dishwasher when God gave humans two built-in dishwashers, our hands? I despise the dishwasher we have. Oh, really? No, see, I like to use my dishwasher, and then I just use my hands to do the pots and the pans. But I don't know. I don't like washing dishes that much. Crystal says, Nisi, I haven't also called my store yesterday. The clearance is supposed to hit us next week. Ooh, I haven't even, I haven't even called. I'm not even going to go to Hobby Lobby. I just don't need to. I'm just not really finding the need. I have a lot of yarn that I got already that I was excited about. So I figure I'm just going to use that instead of just gathering more. I just don't need it. And I can just live vicariously through everybody else's excitement and look at their yarn and appreciate it. Because like once you buy it, then like the excitement's gone, then you put it on your shelf and then you're just ready for the next sale. That's the way I feel. So I'm just gonna use the yarn that I have because I have more than enough. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up already, please do so. And Ursula sent me a super sticker. Thank you so much, Ursula. Woo Happy St. Patrick's Day. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day to you! Yay! Thank you! <laughs> 32 thummies. Thank you, everyone. You guys are amazing. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Well said, Cammie. You're hired, says Sheila. <laughs> Ursula, hi, beautiful, says Sabrina. Linda's here. She says, hi, Laura, and everyone in the chat. Just leaving a thumbs up and hoping you have an amazing life. Big hugs. Big hugs to you, Linda. Enjoy your weekend ahead. Thank you for coming in. And um, everyone's saying hello to Linda. I love the monochromatic look. Yes, I do, too. And uh, let's see, Ursula says, so good to see you, sweetie. Have an amazing weekend. Can't wait to see what you buy. Ooh, yeah, Linda's going to have fun shopping. Let's see here. Let me catch up in chat real quick, and I'll go back to the patterns. And I am going to be giving one away. I've got several choices for you guys, so um, make sure you uh, stick around. Uh, Linda, are you shopped out for yarn yet, says Sheila. And Unique says, the dishwasher is a great tool for those with chronic illness as they have limited energy. Yes. Uh, Linda says, shopping tomorrow. Spent the day traveling. Oh, wow. Crojo, are you going to shop my stash too? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not like doing that because everyone's doing the shop my stash. I'm just doing it because I don't, I just don't need more yarn. <laughs> I just need to spend my money on other things right now. Even though, I mean, I, I, I could go there, but if I went there like with a budget or just thinking I'm only going to buy a little bit, I probably would walk out of there with more than I need. And I just don't really want to. I just don't. I'm trying to like get rid of some stuff in my house before I put more in. We have so many boxes in my basement that I haven't opened from when we moved here like five years ago. So I'm, my basement's not finished, but it's just filled with boxes and we really need to go through the boxes and all that. And then I got a bunch of yarn that was donated to me and I need to get rid of some of that. So I will be having more vintage yarn giveaways because I don't need it. And I don't want to use it myself. I have other yarn that I like better, you know, because I don't like the thin yarns. So stay tuned. I will be doing uh, more yarn, vintage yarn giveaways. And Divergent says, I only have three totes worth, not an adequate stash yet. That's so funny. I just don't really have the room to like put a, a ton of yarn. I don't have like a whole room full of shelves or anything like that. So what I do have on shelves here and there is just enough. I just don't want to collect too much, you know. Everyone's saying hello. Yeah, see, Faith, I wish to Jesus mine worked, but I think it would be much better boat anchor. <laughs> Linda says, hi, my beautiful friends. Have an awesome weekend. You too, Linda. Tina says, my son gives me a hard time for not using my dishwasher. I've used it about five times in 15 years. Oh, wow. It's going for 9 p.m. here. I quickly went to take my face off, cleaning the makeup off and put PJs on. Now relaxing and watching. Oh, enjoy and relax. And it's just, I still have a lot of time before that comes for me today. <laughs> just relax. Cammie says, I think why I don't like dishwashers is when my dad would leave for work to teach tennis just before he would leave, he would start the dishwasher and then make me empty it. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you wouldn't like that. That's the unfun part about dishwashers is putting everything away. Only five times in 15 years. Wow, says Ursula. Everyone's laughing. Uh, Ursula says, my anxiety would go up if I bought a yarn without a plan to use it, which is also why I only have like three whips at a time max. Yeah, I try not to have too many whips, but it seems like I'm gathering more. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Hold on. I got to show you this real quick. I started um, S Sophie's Universe, and it's not bright and ugly like this, like the, the camera's making it. It's very pretty. And um, yeah, so far so good. I had to rip out a couple uh times but it's not too bad so far i have one more row and then i'm done with part one so that's pretty exciting and let's see i spend more time looking at them than i could have washed them myself quicker ursula <laughs> that's so funny i used to be in the same mess in basement it took 13 years but now my own studio i love it oh that's awesome jojo thank you for being here too it's good to see you Beautiful and bright, Laura. Yes, it's not really as bright as it really looks on camera. It looks great, Laura. Thank you, Sierra. Oh, that is gorgeous, Crojo. Is it difficult, the Sophie's Universe? No, it's not. You just have to really pay attention to what you're doing and make sure that you have your stitches right. 
Um, Jojo says, I just arrived. I'm testing a new editing program. Da Vinci, my plan is to make a new recording pattern. Ooh, that would be nice. I was thinking about getting Da Vinci, but I, I looked at it and it just looked really overwhelming. And I was like, I don't know if I feel like learning that right now. So let me know if it's hard or not. Divergent Crystal says, it's okay, Faith. I handled the situation by giving all, away all but the necessary dishes. Everyone has one plate and one utensil, then pots and pans to limit how many get dirty on bad days. Oh, that's a good idea. Becky says, your Sophie looks like a Nastur... I don't know what that means. A Nasturtium? I don't know what that means, Becky. <laughs> Pardon my ignorance, <laughs> but thank you so much. Sheila says it's gorgeous, Laura. Thank you. I'm going to add so many different colors. That's just the middle of the blanket. I love the colors, Laura says, Tina. Thank you so much. And Jojo saying hi to everyone. Cami says, I'm not so brave enough to crochet the Sophie's universe. It takes a lot of concentration. My daughter came in and started talking to me, and then I had to um, stop doing what I was doing. Okay, so let's continue on. I have a couple more rows here to show you guys. So here is a cute little project. This is called Hot Chick and this is called Hot Chick in Town Hot Pad. I thought this was super cute. It's a $4 pattern by Marsha Sparks. It's a little chicken. Isn't that so cute? A little chicken hot pad. I thought that was adorable. So cute. Hot Chick in Town. That's such a cute play on words. I love it. Look at how adorable that is. Isn't she cute? Whoop. So cute. I love that. So that's $4 using a uh, cotton yarn and a, uh, let's see, 5.5, 4.5, and 4 millimeter hook. And then here we've got the Trivet Hot Pad. This is $2.34. This is a very pretty pot holder using DK weight and a 4 millimeter hook. Isn't this gorgeous? I love that. These are so pretty. It looks they're like they're doing a lot of front posts. Uh, triples, doubles, maybe. I don't know. It has spokes all around. It's very, very pretty. The colors are beautiful and vibrant. Which, you know, I love. So there you go. Trivet Hot Pad by Andrea Leek, L-E-E-K. This is $2.34. And then we've got this for you guys that have cats. This is the door hanger bouncy cat toy. Super cute. This looks so easy and cute. Look at that. I know my cat would just love it. Looks like this guy little this little guy loves it. I used to have a cat that looked like that. Actually, I've had two cats that look like that. So cute. And this is by Lion Brand Yarn. And this is a free pattern using Lion Brand Wool Ease and a four millimeter hook and you need about 591 yards and this is a little mug cozy this is a free pattern using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook by lisa charbonneau isn't this so cute i love that so pretty quick and easy great for a uh, craft show that cat toy is great for a craft show too and i think this hot chick would be great for a craft show as well here's a mug hug and rug set this is a free pattern by Marinke Slump using Aaron Weight yarn and a four millimeter hook. Super cute. You can make a few of these sets. You could even get some pretty little mugs from like a Dollar Tree or something and stick them in there. So that way they don't even need to buy a mug. It's just already on there. Get a matching mug. Buy the mugs first and then match it with your yarn. Make it easy on yourself. And that's cute for free. That's a free pattern. Let me just grab my, um, go back to my chat here real super quick. Let's see. Uh, Jojo says, I took, I took free version and contact me via Facebook. I will share a tutorial that I found for it. Okay, Jojo, I sure will. Thank you. Cami, you could do it. I am sure, says Divergent. Nasturtium, a South African trailing plant with round leaves and bright orange, yellow, or red flowers, which is widely grown as an ornamental. Oh, okay. I learned something new today. Thank you for letting me know that. It's a flower that I love, pronounced like nast nastershum. Oh, okay. Thank you, Becky. I have never heard of it. Nastershum is a pretty flower, says Sheila. Thank you for letting me know. I've never heard of that. And Becky says, cute chick. Adorable, says Sabrina. 
So easy to grow too. I used to save the seeds. I have never heard that. It probably wouldn't grow here because it gets too cold. Um, let's see. Dawn says, sorry, right now I'm listening and painting. Love the colors in your whip. Thank you so much, Dawn. Beautiful, says Sabrina. Ursula says, ha ha, I Googled it. Nestor Nastersham. When I saw it, I recognized it. Small shades of orange flowers with green leaves. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I want kitten or two. I know. I love him. my kitten just grew up so fast. He's bigger than my other cat who's like seven years old. Ursula says, Sabrina, I love cats because they are quite independent. I don't have the time that a little doggy will need. I know I love dogs, but I don't think I could handle a dog. It It's like having a child. Um, let's see. Sabrina says, wow, Laura, you show so many cute things on Ravelry. I try. <laughs> Sierra says, I struggle with mug cozies because I love my mug so much. I like to look at them. I'll have to make one for my ugly ones. LOL. I've made a cozy for my mason jar that I drink water out of, though. I saw that. That was a cute mug. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Mason jar cozy that you made. Sabrina says, Ursula, yes, true. We have a little doggy. <laughs> and uh, Jojo says, you are welcome. All right, let's get back to Ravelry. I just have a few more patterns to show you, and then we're going to do a giveaway for one of these beautiful patterns. Let's see here. Oh boy, we got to hurry up. Okay, so I've got here's some more mug cozies. This is Mariana's mug cozy using Red Heart Super Saver solids and a five, five millimeter hook. This is a dollar fifty. So cute. Look at the little red or uh, red. Look at the wooden heart button on it. That just really gives it such a nice touch. I love that. And there it is with a pretty little purple round glittery button gorgeous. You know, when you buy dishes and you always just have those plain little mugs in the set, that's perfect to like fancy those up. But I know what you mean, Sierra, because I, I love my mugs. I picked them out because I love them so much or someone gave them to me because they thought of me, but they're great for a craft show. You know, what a nice gift would be is you could take a mug and you could even put this in your craft show, a mug with a cute cover on it. And then you could stick like a hot chocolate pack in there with like a little stir or something like that. This is a great craft show project right here. This is an earbud holder using um, cotton yarn, worsted weight, and a four millimeter hook. Look at how cute this is. And then they put it on a little like a uh, keychain thing with a little hook. Isn't that nice with a little like lanyard hook? I love that. Super quick and easy. And that's only $3, and that would be perfect for a craft show. Be a great little stocking stuffer. Then we've got this. This is a card holder for your credit cards, debit cards, and all that jazz. This is by Crochet Dreams. This is so pretty. I love the little tag on the front. These would be perfect for a craft show. You give it to somebody with a gift card inside. Super cute. And that's using a uh, worsted weight cotton yarn and a four and a half millimeter hook. And it's by Crochet Dreams with a Z. And it's $3.99 for that pattern. And then we've got this. This is a daisy plastic bag holder using granny squares, worsted weight, and a five millimeter hook, $3.50 for the pattern. Super cute. And then you put your little plastic bags in there and they come out the bottom. Oh, I like that one with the pink. That one's really pretty. That would be quick and easy to make. These would be great for a craft show. These would be a great little gift or a quick and easy project to make. And let's see here. Then we have these, this pretty uh, mermaid towel and washcloth set. Now this is gorgeous. This is using um, Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. And that's an Aaron weight and a 5.5 millimeter hook. This pattern is four dollars and 97 cents and that is just beautiful i love the stitch i love the pattern i love the color that's so pretty i love this this is a nice little set and let's see here this is by tamara kelly so i'm working my way here i've got just like two more rows to show you and then we're going to do our giveaway I do have a couple of things that you can pick out as your choice. This is a free pattern for an owl keychain. I thought this was cute. Perfect for a uh, craft show or just a quick and easy gift. 
Let's see. This is by Yarn Artists. Aren't they so cute? Super quick and easy. Look at all the ones they've made. This would be great for like Girl Scout troops. Uh, what else? Little teacher gifts. I don't know. Just gifts for your kids to give to their friends. And this is using Lion Brand Vanna's Choice 4mm hook. I thought that this was adorable. And it's a free pattern, so you can't go wrong. And this is a spa day kit. This is a free pattern here um, for the whole kit. And it's using Bernat Handicrafter Cotton Solids and a 5.5mm hook. That's a worsted weight yarn. So you've got your little round washcloths. You've got some like little poofs or little tiny uh, pads. You've got a little cotton mitt, a bath scrunchie, and then you've got a little crochet basket that you put it all in. So that is a wonderful little gift. That would be a great uh, craft show item as well. You could also do these items individually, you know, like the little mitt and the bath poof or the little mitt and the little wash rags, you know. The uh, the options are limitless. Okay, let's see here. This is super cute. This is a sunglasses case. This is $3.93, so, and it's called Summer Stripe Sunglasses Case by Lullaby Melodia, and it's a four and a half millimeter hook, and it's using an Aran weight yarn. Aren't these beautiful? I love this one with the orange and the yellow and the red. Of course. <laughs> of course I do. And it's by Lullaby Melodia Summer Stripes and summer stripes sunglasses case i thought that was really pretty and this is also a glasses case and morocco owl glass case using a sport weight yarn and a four millimeter and a 3.25 millimeter hook and this is a four dollar pattern super cute look at this oh my gosh i love this and who makes this part pixie is the designer of this pattern how cute is that? And then see, they also used it to just put their cords in or their chargers. And you can also use it as a glasses case. I thought that was adorable. And that is a $4 pattern. And then we also have a lanyard. This is a really cute item to put for a craft show, to make for a craft show. This is a free pattern using Hobie Rainbow Cotton Fingering Weight and a 2.5 millimeter hook. Look at how pretty that is. It's so lacy. Whoops, it doesn't zoom in. Sorry, guys. And um, it's really lacy, and it just has like a little lanyard hook on it. Super cute. Really easy to make. You could even put like a blank badge on it, like an empty badge, you know, have it say something cute on there just so they kind of know what it is. And this is the last row here. This is the Axolotl Hand Sanitizer Cozy. Isn't this super cute? $3.50. He's so sweet. Axolotls are really popular now. Uh, some of my daughter knows actually has two of them in their fish tank. I thought about getting one, but that, I don't know. I would be afraid I wouldn't be able to take care of it good enough. And if something happened, I'd feel bad. I always had fish in a fish tank, but I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work. So there you go. Super cute. And you put your hand sanitizer in there, and that is the lid is where the tail is. Here we go. Here's where the lid is. Isn't that so sweet? So that's made by Hooray It's Crochet, and it's $3.50. Now, I really liked this as well. This is called the Easy Dual Remote Caddy for $1.50, and it's using Red Heart Super Saver Solids. It's by Celinda D. Matthews, and it's also using a 55 millimeter hook, and it just drapes over the arm of your couch or your chair, and you can put a remote in each side or your phone. Put your phone on one side, the remote on the other, or vice versa. That's super cute. What a great idea. What a great idea. And that is $1.50. And then we also have the Farmhouse Spa Style Headbands. This is a $3 pattern. And these are the cute little headbands that you can wear when you're taking your makeup off. And here they are without the bow. Or that might be the back of them. That's probably the back. That's the front. Isn't that so cute? 
Those are nice to wear when you're getting a giving yourself a facial or doing a mask. And that's using, I love this cotton in a five millimeter hook. And then I thought this was neat. My daughter really loved this because she wants me to make her one. This is the retro steering wheel cover. This is a free pattern. And it's using granny squares, Ursula. And this is by Kylie Keller. And it's a little steering wheel cover using granny squares. That wouldn't take very long, but I bet you you could get a nice chunk of change for it. Super cute using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. And then the last but not least is this cute little amigurumi uh, Chaco Bear with Heart. And um, he's using uh, cotton yarn, worsted weight, and a 3.75 and a 2.75 millimeter hook. And it's about $3.04. And he's super, super sweet. I love him. Let me go back and just catch up in my chat. And then we will go ahead with our giveaway for today. And let's see here. Whoa. Let me see where I'm at. Okay, let's see. Sierra, mason jar cozies would sell more around here in craft fair. Everyone drinks out of mason jars and hands handled ones for coffee. Oh, yeah. I, I do have mason jars that I drink out of, and I do have handled ones. But I don't really put coffee in it. I just use that for cold drinks. But that's a good idea. It's on my list. I want to have two small doggies that live in the house, but we're renting at the moment. Extra thummy here. Thank you, Ursula. And let's see. Ursula, dogs are so loyal and loving always, and cats think they are king or, of, or queen of the castle. Yes, they do. My alter ego, another thummy here, LOL. Thank you, Ursula. I appreciate that. Sierra uh, Stitch Sanctuary says, have you seen the little crocheted AirPods cases, Laura? They're so cute, especially the little animal ones. Yes, I have seen those. So many nice patterns, says Sabrina. Thank you. Ursula says, doggies are always glad to see you. That's what I love about dogs. Cats, in my experience, are a little bit slower to show their affection. Oh my gosh. My new cat, though, um, he's really, what do you call it? Um, anxiety, separation anxiety he has. Because if I'm in my office here for a while, I don't let him in here at all. And when I go out, he will run towards me. He jumps up, you know, on the table and he just jumps up and like hugs me and puts his like paws around me and just like loves all over me. I've never had a cat like that. He's the 10th cat I've ever owned. And he is just the most affectionate thing ever. Bonnie says mug cozies are also great soda can cozies or make thinner for round bottles. Yes, they are. They are nice. I made, I have a tutorial and a pattern on how to make like the skinny can cozies for like, um, like white claws and like monsters and stuff like that. Uh, Sierra says, Ursula, my cat is always next to me, head butting me, yelling at me and rushes to the door whenever I go outside for even a few minutes. I suspect she may secretly be a dog. LOL. That's so funny. Great patterns. The ones I did catch a glimpse of says Joe. Thank you so much. Crystal says that card holder done in nylon yarn would be a perfect wallet too. Definitely. Um, let's see. Like Maine Coons, they say it's the closest you get to a dog in a cat skin personality wise. Ooh, Maine Coons are gorgeous and they're so big. Those little owls are so pretty. I think so too. That's so beautiful. The aqua turquoise. Yes. Please hit the thumbs up if you guys haven't already. Those owls are so cute as bag jewelry. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Ursula, I want to get a Maine Coon one day. They're so beautiful and trained more like dogs. I've wondered about that being my next support animal. My old biddy will be 17 years in May soon. Oh, my goodness. That is old. Handmade Designs HD is here. Hi, everyone. Hello, HD. Thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you. I'm getting ready to do a giveaway here in just a minute. Everyone's saying hello. And let's see. Are those headband Suzette stitch? I'm not really sure. I do not know. Oh, I need that in my life. I need it. the steering wheel cover. Oh, I know. It's so cute, isn't it? Everyone's saying hello. There, Ursula, for your car. I know. I thought of Ursula when I saw that. Crochet bomb, that steering wheel. I know. Flower Crochet Creations, a.k.a. Tammy Twyford says, Hi, Lauren, friends. Hi, Tammy. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. And let's see here. Nisi says, I would use cotton instead, though, because it can get hot in the car plus moisture on your hands. Yes, definitely. I agree. I'm planning to make a gray square, granny square blank, baby blanket this summer with friends looking for a super easy pattern. Ooh, I bet you you could find one on Ursula's channel. That bear is cute, says Cammie. 
Okay, let's see. Everyone's saying hello. Off to pick up the kiddo. Have a good day. All love, light, and blessings all. Okay, you have a great day, Crystal. Drive safe. Thank you for coming in. And let's see here. Hello, Crojo and all in chat. Stop by to give a like and say hi. Hello, not the end. Thank you for coming in. Stick around. I am getting ready to do a giveaway here in just a second. So let's see here. Let me go back to Ravelry and show you what your choices are today for the for the giveaway. So let's see. We are going to go with, you have your choice today. You can choose from the Raspberry Pocket Pal. Isn't that so cute? Or you can choose from the, let's see here. You can choose from the Trivet Hot Pad. That's beautiful. Or you can also choose from the earbud holder. Isn't that cool? I love that. So if you want to take part in this giveaway, you can choose one of those. Um, you can choose uh, one of those patterns if you would, if you win. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mark in the chat. Please refrain from uh, chatting. And uh, if you are interested in winning one of those patterns, just type the word Patrick, P-A-T-R-I-C-K in the chat for St. Patrick's Day. I should have just said green. <laughs> I should have just said green, but I didn't. I said Patrick. Type the word Patrick. Type the word Patrick in chat and you will have a chance to win either the trivet set, the little Raspberry Pocket Pal, or the earbud holder patterns. Okay, and I'm going to pull up my... I'm going to pull up my giveaway screen here. Thank you guys all for being here. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to tune in on Tuesday because I will be giving out the third secret word for the March giveaway live. If you are not familiar with that uh, giveaway, I have started to do it differently this month. Um, I'm not doing the bucket this month. I do have a form linked in the description box. And that's where you will put the secret word that I give each Tuesday. At the last Tuesday of the month, you will type in your last secret word that you hear on my live. You can always go back and watch the replay if you miss it and then submit it. On that Friday on my live, I will put I have everyone's name on the wheel that has submitted their forms with all the secret with the four secret words from each Tuesday of the month. And I will choose a winner to win one of the prizes shown that is linked in the description box as well. As of right now, the copper yarn ball is back in stock. So that is one of the choices. There's also a choice of a wooden uh, yarn bowl or a really nice big project bag that has dividers in it. Bye, Nisi. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you being here. So if everybody is done putting in the word Patrick, I'll go ahead and put stop in the chat. You've got just a couple seconds here, and um, then I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner and see who is going to win the pattern for today. And if you haven't uh, watched the Tuesdays uh, videos this month, go ahead and go back and watch them for the keyword that I have left. And uh, you will have a chance to enter if you fill out that form. Okay, so let's go ahead. And, ooh, you just got in at the right time there, Sierra. <laughs> so let's go ahead over to the giveaway tool and collect the comments. And then we're going to see who's going to win today. Who's going to win the pattern? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's going to win the pattern? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Candy's Yarn Crafts. Woo -hoo. Congratulations, Candy. That's awesome. This is for you, Candy. That's awesome, Candy. Let me know if you'd like the Raspberry Pocket Pal 
or the uh, trivet pattern or the earbud holder. And um, that is really awesome. I appreciate you um, being here. And uh, let me just show you guys what the prizes look like for the March giveaway if you haven't seen them yet. I'm going to go ahead and show you. There are three different prizes that you'll be able to choose from if you fill out the form with the correct code word. So the first thing that you can choose from is this awesome copper yarn bowl. Um, it's in stock right now. It did go out of stock for a little while and it came back. So this is one of the choices that you will have if you enter the code word. I figured I would give everybody a chance to um, uh, win this giveaway this month. So um, I don't want to count everybody out. So there's one of the choices. Let me show you the other choices. There's two other choices that you could pick from. And you've also got your choice for this wooden yarn bowl. Now that's really pretty. And then you also, you will also have your choice of this uh, awesome, what do you call it? Mm yarn storage tote that has dividers in it and you can also um, choose between this pattern or this pattern and it has dividers in it Let's see here it has dividers in it it also has a place that uh, folds down for your crochet hooks right here so I thought that was really nice and you've got your woo. This thing's crazy. You've got all kinds of pockets in there. So I love that. So you can have your choice of those for this month's giveaway if you are chosen as the winner. So I think that should be about it for today. Let me see here. So I just want the fantastic prizes. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Sierra says, I didn't realize it's my Omni brand. Yes, my favorite. Ooh, that's cool. Nice bowl, says JoJo. Fantastic prizes, says Ursula. Thank you so much, Ursula. Well, I appreciate all of you for being here. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Um, I hope everyone has a great weekend and a happy St. Patrick's Day. Me and my little um, leprechaun friend will say hello and happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink the green beer, or at least don't drink too much of it. And I will see you on Tuesday for uh, my live giveaway. I haven't decided what the topic is yet, but keep your eyes peeled on my community tab. Um, and um, yeah, come back Tuesday for the secret word that I will be giving. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. I can't find my goodbye button. Where's my goodbye button? I can't find my goodbye button. My goodbye button. There it is. Bye. <laughs>